Welcome back to E3 Kings. I'm King Leo. King Cork's still at home, in bed, sleeping soundly, Snapchatting me somehow. Uh, let's get to the day. Microsoft had their big presser today. They announced their 2020 vision. And for Microsoft, it's about the games. Specifically, what marketing agencies think that the games might be like. Fable was still nowhere to be seen. Looks like this is one Fable that isn't real. Star Wars teased us with a little bit of ankle after fully parting the kimono yesterday. The new State of Decay 2 Heartland DLC is out right now. You can go play it. So go ahead. What are you waiting for? It's out right now, seriously. You're just sitting there. Oh, it's, yeah, it still looks like that. And we saw the new Battletoads is being made using the Spider-Man Cartoon Maker CD-ROM. Next, I would like to talk about Bethesda, but it was wall-to-wall -wall profanity in that show, and my ears aren't toilets. It's ready f***ing cool! Come on! Oh, come on. No. I guess there's no more audio for the stream. If that's how you're gonna act, Bethesda, I'm just gonna turn the audio yeah. off, okay? I, I'll turn it back on. Okay, yeah, I did. I thank you. Check. That was gonna be hard maybe, to maybe stream about. But, but it's also pretty f***ing true. Oh, oh come on! We had a few more celebrity sightings today. In the Fantasy Star Online 2 trailer, we caught a peek at the Titanic herself. On our stream, we had a very special guest appearance by Dead Mouse. It's gonna be a T-800 skin in Gears of War, finally combining two franchises that are about 20% good. And of course, Mr. Johnny Pneumatic himself, Keanu Reeves. But his appearance needs a little more unpacked. After revealing that the John Wick skin from Fortnite was going to be in Cyberpunk 2077, then the man himself appeared after totally Gandalfing a massive cloud. All right. All right. Well, he almost said three all rights. The guys from CD Projekt Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project. They were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world. On oh, and on and on. That must have been so annoying, dude. And then another blunder from the caption people. He just doesn't get a title in his lower third. At least they're a weird vibe dude in there, but in a good way. There's room. Then he sarcastically read the back of the box. Cyberpunk is set in a metropolis of the future. It's like my dad when he feels like <laughs> being rude to me. The interactive portion of the show is pretty engaging where Keanu fielded heckles from the audience. Is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. All right, all right, all right, so. That's three all rights. Imagine if we were using this time to give you like interesting information about a game. You're interesting. <laughs> Shut the f up. And also we saw his co-star from Johnny Pneumatic is back, uh, the whip guy. Uh-oh. Time for fails of the day. First fail's gotta go to us for our first episode where we forgot to use these slide whistles we bought specifically for fail. <laughs> Here's a fail. Gears Funko had the most gameplay of anything at Microsoft's conference. Literally not a joke. <laughs> the new Alan Wake game is called Blair Witch, which is kind of a name recognition fail. If you ask me. The new Xbox was announced for holiday 2020, and they showed it off. It just looks like a bunch of microchips. I don't want to, that's gonna hurt my hands. <laughs> In Cyberpunk's gameplay, they bleeped out all the cursing, but they showed just horrible violence. Like how we're doing on this show, right? Fucking now. So it's just kind of a cultural fail that that's where we're at as a society. <laughs> Of course, it's time to give out the Good Game Award. Today's Good Game Award goes to the LEGO Speed Champions expansion for Forza. Now, this is one racing game where you don't want to step on it. That's all for today. Stay tuned all throughout the week for more Game Informer coverage. Today, I just want to go out reminding you that whoever you are, this is to anyone. No one in particular. You don't have to do a press conference at E3. Be comfortable in your own skin. Don't feel like you have to make us watch an hour and a half of your stuff. Thank you. <laughs>